In this video, I hope to educate the viewer about video and photo surveillance in the real world and how it relates to the book 1984 by George Orwell. In the book, the citizens of Oceania are always being watched by the government. You could consider the situation similar to that of the rise of McCarthyism during the Red Scare. Joseph McCarthy was focused on finding every communist sympathizer he could possibly find, and the rest of America followed him in doing so. If you were displaying communist qualities or anything that slightly resembled them, you would be arrested and sent for trial to prove that you were not a communist. Of course, 1984 was written in 1948, which was during the early to mid Red Scare in America. Therefore, it is no surprise that such a thing would be in a fictional book set in a dystopia. CCTV cameras are a real world system that one would not be surprised to see in the fictional book 1984, but they are much more than just fiction. CCTV stands for Closed Circuit Television, although most people just call them security cameras. In the USA, CCTV cameras are a very popular part of the security business, and the chances are that you will at least see a few CCTV cameras every time you go out to shop or, or even walk at the park. You probably walk past even more CCTV cameras than you see though. Roughly 48% of the employers in the USA have video surveillance of some sort. In 2014, it was estimated that there were over 40 million CCTV cameras in place, which is up from estimates in 2009 by 10 million. CCTV cameras are typically used as another measure against criminals. The main goal of a CCTV camera is to identify a criminal so that he or she can be apprehended or even to deter a criminal from robbing a store. CCTV cameras even help to identify the Boston bombing suspects. CCTV cameras are legal in all 50 states. In fact, in 46 of the 50 states, CCTV and hidden cameras aren't technically illegal in places where people expect full privacy and or undress. The only four states that have law stating that CCTV cameras and hidden cameras are not legal in private places are New York, Rhode Island, California, and Florida. Two other states require businesses to notify people if there are cameras in pli private places. Those states are Delaware and Connecticut. Red light cameras are similar to CCTV cameras, but they take pictures instead of videos. When you are caught running a red light at, at an intersection equipped with a red light camera, the camera will take a picture of your car, which the authorities can use to enforce the law through whatever methods used in that area. Here are the 22 states not including territories that have cameras in place and the punishments that the state use. 28 states, not including territories, are listed as having no red light cameras in place by the IAHS and HLDI. South Carolina has an interesting rule regarding these though. Red light cameras are generally prohibited, but are authorized only for violations that occur during emergencies. I can't find anything more specific about how they use these cameras, so in South Carolina you should just stop instead of risking it. Including South Carolina, seven states prohibit the use of red light cameras. The other 21 states just don't have them in place or have special laws regarding them. Nevada law states that a, quote, governmental entity and any agent thereof shall not use photographic, video, or digital equipment for gathering evidence to be used in the issuance of a traffic citation for a violation of chapters 484A to 484E, inclusive of NRS unless the equipment is held in the hand or installed temporarily or permanently within a vehicle or facility of a law enforcement agency, end quote. Red light cameras don't impede on your privacy as much as CCTV cameras, but red light cameras have other issues. While red light cameras typically reduce T-bone collisions, they can also lead to more rear-end collisions due to drivers slamming on the brakes to not get caught. In some areas, red light cameras can be close to not making much of a difference in the overall number of collisions, and in others, the number of collisions can go either way depending on how drivers react to them. CCTV cameras and other video surveillance methods are the main issue that could use some work regarding legislation. I would personally recommend that federal law requires businesses to at least notify people if there are cameras in a private area or an area where people may undress. But cameras should only be permitted if located in an area of the room that the camera is as non-intrusive as possible. 
Red light cameras need some extra data and statistics before they are implemented on a wider scale, but in terms of privacy, red light cameras should not need any more legislation to be passed. In the future, I wouldn't be surprised if CCTV cameras continued to grow in popularity among business owners and maybe homeowners. I don't foresee anything major developing with them except for maybe some more states adopting laws regarding where cameras can be placed. I'll throw in the possibility for some protests because why not? In the future, red light cameras may become more popular or less popular depending on how statistics display the effectiveness of them as time goes on. There will probably be some protests on this topic too because it's just another thing for people to watch out for while driving. Other than some small protests every year or two, most people probably won't care about red light cameras that much in the future. In conclusion, CCTV makes life less private but shouldn't get to the scale of 1984 for a long time. CCTV also catches criminals and does other cool things though. Red light cameras are just sitting in a corner waiting for testing results to come back and making some money occasionally. That's all y'all.